these recent headlines about autism and this attempt to find the cause of autism is absolutely ridiculous. We've been attending these conferences on autism for 20 years. And these conferences are run by research scientists and clinicians who more often than not have children with autism. And multiple mechanisms have emerged over many years to say that they don't know the root cause of autism. There isn't a root cause. There's root causes and triggers, genetic vulnerabilities, oxidative stresses, inflammatory uh, issues, heavy metal toxicity, viral markers, yeast markers, um, bacteria markers, problems with methylation. It goes on and on and on. Nutrient deficiencies, food sensitivities, gut permeability, it's endless. And any clinician who's working with autism knows that it's not one thing and there's not one protocol. There is no root cause. These things all affect neurodevelopment at critical phases, phases of the child's development, which create pruning issues, which then lead to problems with socialization, speech, etc., and behaviors. There's no root cause. Call off the search. The research has been done, and it needs to be correlated and collated by people who really have a vested interest in finding what's going on. And underlying all of these multiple triggers is as Doug Wallace have ascertained and Robert Navio have ascertained, is the cell danger response due to mitochondrial heteroplasmy. So if you get all these toxic stresses and all these genetic issues and all these mitochondrial issues, they all lead to a neuroinflammatory cascade, which then creates mitochondria to be in the, in, in the cell danger response, which is at the root biochemically and biophysically of this disease expression.